the winter period, not the easiest time to go out and catch a carp, but they are catchable. Yeah, catching carp in the winter obviously depends on what venue you're fishing. If the lake's very deep, i found from my own experience that it's very difficult. The shallower lakes, the fish seem to move around a lot more and you get more chance of a bite. Yeah, if the stocking levels are high, then you've got a good chance of catching throughout the winter, as they'll still be competing throughout in colder months. If the stocking levels are very low, then obviously you're going to have a tough winter ahead of you. So choose your venue wisely and decide what you want out of your fishing. If you want to sit out all winter for one big fish, you know that what lays ahead is going to be a hard, hard task. So go with it. But if you want to catch a lot of, a lot of fish and get a lot of bites, then choose your venue wisely. Some of the tactics in the winter, what I use, are one of the main things is I keep a lot, a lot of check on the weather. Always watching the air pressures. If you've got them freezing cold, clear, crystal clear nights, then I tend to give it a miss. You know, you're not out there, you, you shouldn't be out there breaking your neck in the winter, you should be enjoying your fishing. So, after all the years I've been fishing, I've learned that it's nice to get out there when the air pressure's right, and you've got a nice low pressure in, maybe a bit of cloud, low cloud, a bit of rain even. It's better than them freezing cold, crystal clear nights. That's only my personal view, but um, I would choose your, choose your times wisely and make the most of them periods. As for bait and tactics of, of applying bait, I think also that, that once again goes with the stocking levels. If there's plenty of fish in there, then you apply more bait. Um, my personal way of doing it is I will fish with something that's quite attractive to the carp. In the depths of winter, I'm fishing for a bite. Just that one bite could be enough to make my session a real good one. So don't go too mad with a bait and spoil your chances. If they are in the area and they're dropping down having a mooch about, you want something that's really going to attract them in. But I don't want too much food source in my swim because I don't want to overfeed them. I could overfeed them, they might not feed for a few days, even weeks, who knows. But what I'm trying to create is a little and often feeding pattern where they come in, pick up a few bits and pieces and then mooch away and then come back and hopefully make a mistake and pick up your rig. Some of the things that I do use during the winter are these pellets I found are really good. They break down pretty good in cold temperatures, not like some of the oil-based pellets that tend to sit around for ages and not go anywhere. And also, they tend to fill the carp up. These, they break down quick, they give a very good attraction, and the carp come in wondering what, what, what the attraction is, and then hopefully find my hook bait, which is something edible that they can eat, and hopefully produce me a good winter fish. I like to use something of a fruit nature, a fruit smell, I still use my snowman rig a hell of a lot in the winter and what I've got here is either a nice tutti fruity or an ester blend pop up which I use as, a, as the top part of my um, snowman rig. I still like to use my snowman rig in the winter, it's a nice little mouthful and occasionally a nice snowman rig topped with a nice orange tutti fruity ester blend type pop up seems to work a treat. And what I will do with that, I will attach a little funnel web bag of these pellets and to me that is an ultimate setup for catching a winter carp. A few important things when you winter fishing is to make sure you're comfortable. Always take loads of warm clothing and make sure that you're comfortable on the bank, a good bivvy, you want to be warm, you don't want to be out there not enjoying yourself because at the end of the day we're only here to enjoy ourselves doing this fishing so we, if you're not comfortable on the bank don't go, that's my opinion. Don't go out there and get freezing cold and catch the flu for nothing. You're out there to enjoy yourself and catch a carp, and you can only do that if you're functioning properly. So, first of all, make sure you've got a good, good set of clothing, warm feet, and a good bivvy, and a good sleeping bag, and lots of warm drinks and hot food. With that aside, you can then concentrate more on your fishing and put more effort into it, and I do believe it will produce you more takes. On, on deeper lakes, I find that the fish will find an area in the depths that they prefer. For me, I found that it's within around about five, six foot. It may vary on different waters. And maybe at that time, it'd be worth trying a zig rig. If you think that the fish are not on the bottom, then you're wasting your time fishing on the bottom. You may as well at least put a zig rig out there so that you can have a half a chance of getting a bite. So get out there and have a go. And I hope all the tips that me and Jim have covered during this DVD will be beneficial to you. Good luck.